Y'all really piss me the fuck off. Okay, this is going to be a longer video, so because I have a lot to say. First and foremost, first and foremost, yes, I'm I'm triggered. Okay, I am triggered because y'all are fucking ignorant. Y'all read some type of phrases on the internet, don't know what it means. Just take the literal word of gentle, put it together with the parenting, and assume some type of stupid shit that is not there, that is far from reality, and that does not work indeed. And then you want to project that entire stupid ignorance of yours on the actual fact that. Gentle parenting has nothing to do with your narrow mindset and you want to show the rest of the world how it doesn't work just because you don't know how to practice it. All right. I've been meaning to talk about this for a hot minute because what in the actual fuck? You know, you can upload every fucking thing on TikTok but will not take one minute to do some Google research to actually know what gentle parenting actually means. It doesn't mean you have to allow everything and be like, hey, Little Jimmy, could you please not be hitting me? I don't like to be hit, you know? That's not what gentle parenting is, you dumb fucks. First and foremost, we need to start at the fucking basics because y'all don't even understand the developments of a child, okay? Because if you would, you would know that children hitting has nothing to do with gentle parenting walking or not walking because it is de developmentally, I don't fucking know how to pronounce that word, Normal for toddlers to hit is the parent's job to supervise and handle toddlers kindly and firmly until they are ready to learn more effective ways to communicate. Guess the fuck what? A child cannot tell you, hey, I'm upset right now. I don't like my toy. I don't like this. They hit. They kick. They bite. They do shit like that. Okay? Because they have no other means of communication yet. That's why it's your fucking job as a parent to model communication for your children. Wow, I think if you have a child, shouldn't you know about development, brain development, you know, emotional intelligence, certain steps that children are going through over the period of the first, I don't fucking know, 15 years of their lives? You'll literally just be popping out kids with no, absolutely no fucking idea of development stages of the brain of a toddler? Mm. Secondly, the term gentle parenting doesn't mean you have to be gentle in a sense of you allow every, every, everything that your child does, no matter how much of a misbehavior that is, and you never say no, and you beg, and you go down on your knees, and you, that is not gentle parenting, God. Literally, the tools of gentle parenting are connection, communication, and consistency. Ask any parent who, ask any parent who follows this style, and they'll tell you to add a good measure of patience. Yes, the fuck. I would say a shitload of patience, okay? Because yes, gentle parenting is not an easy. It's not easy, okay? Nobody ever said it was easy because, and that's another thing, y'all don't do no fucking research. It takes a child around 100 repetitions of something until the brain connection has been established. So you have to repeat shit to your children over and over and over again. That does not mean it doesn't work. That's just normal for a child's brain development. One and one is still two bitches, okay? The funny thing is, when I hear people say, oh, you can't say no in gentle parenting, meanwhile, the entire concept of gentle parenting has literally so much to do with boundaries and no's. It's an important part of gentle parenting because of boundaries, rules, limits, and discipline. You're just more mindful and careful with the way you say no. And yes, in gentle parenting, you rather work with yes environments than constantly restricting your children because indeed, restriction has never worked. We can all agree to that, hopefully. So you rather be like, hey, instead of to, for you to say, okay, let me just give you an example. Your child wants to cut something, but the knife is really sharp. You're not going to tell him, oh no, you can't do that because the knife is really sharp. You're going to be like, yes, you can try it. But you have to know the knife is really sharp. I'm giving you another knife that is not that sharp and I'm going to guide you cutting whatever you want to cut. It's not about restricting your children but making things more accessible for your children while communicating the dangers, the risks, the potential uh, situations, everything above it because that's how children learn. You people don't understand that you can practice you can talk, you can be yapping from morning till night, your children are not going to listen. Your children don't learn by following what you t 
talk about, but what you preach. They look at your actions far more than they listen to your words. That is why they say children see, children do. They don't say children listen, children do. They say children see, children do. Because they listen to your, or they, they look at your example. They do what you model them, what you model for them, okay? Now see, and that's where you all missed the entire point. Gentle parenting, there's actually a concept to it. And in my personal opinion, gentle parenting should be the norm. Because why are you telling me, oh, gentle parenting doesn't work? That's why you need to whoop your kids. No, y'all are just traumatized. Y'all need therapy. That's the thing. Because once somebody tells me, I, I was beaten and I turned out fine, I know you did not turn out fine. Because if you did turn out fine, you wouldn't literally trivialize abuse and tell us that you turned out fine. Because that in itself is the proof that you did not turn out fine. Because... um. Turning out fine would mean that you actually acknowledge that you were abused because you'd be able to see it. But you're so stuck and so brainwashed by the parenting style of your parents and the abuse you had to endure that you're not even able to differentiate between abuse and actual parenting. It's really that simple. Gentle parenting is an approach that prioritizes connection, empathy, respect, and positive discipline to nurture a strong connect, emotional intelligence and social skills in children. It simply means treating your children as human beings. I know it's a wild concept for so many people because so many of y'all are even triggered by the plain fact that your children will question your authority or God forbid they will talk back or they will question you as a person, your choices, your decisions, your way of living because you can only act up so much. One day your children will figure out who you are. They will. And don't get shit twisted. I'm not a role model for no reason, okay? I do have my off days. I do get overstimulated. Um, I have had many days and I will still have many days when I get loud. I have never denied that. I will never deny that because that's what it is, okay? There are days when my cup is full, okay? Or better said, my cup is empty and you can't pour from an empty cup. However you want to say it. However, I'm able to communicate to my children and tell them, hey, right now I really can't. I am overstimulated. I need some, I need a moment. And my kids, even my children use that among themselves. My six-year-old will tell my eight-year-old, hey, right now I'm overstimulated. I want some me time. And he's going to respect that. Gentle parenting simply means accepting your children as human beings, as people that have bodily autonomy, people that are going to make decisions that might differ from yours and giving them basic human respect. And the fact that so many of y'all do not understand that is fucking alarming. And it's really, really, really concerning. Because tell me how all this is such a big deal for you. Because we are not going for a marathon. We are not going for the fucking Olympics. We are just raising children. It's really not all that. Okay. I get that it's hard. Especially when you are... In the same time, reparenting yourself, I've spoken about this on my channel multiple times, you get triggered. I get triggered a lot. Just this evening, took my children to bed. An hour and a half later, they woke up. They were playing on their bed. I would have had my ass whooped, okay? I went inside, I was like, yo, what's, what, what's the party here all about? What's going on? They were like, we just woke up. I was like, okay, they are on holidays. What the fuck do you want me to do? They are awake, they are awake. I brought them snacks, they watched the movie, now they are sleeping. Did I die? No. You all need to take the pressure away from parenting, okay? Because you all look at society way too much. Look at your heart and listen to your soul. You know that shouting at a child and creating fear in that child is not discipline, is not respect. You are pushing your children away. Because a healthy relationship between you and your child means that child is attached to you. It run, runs to you for every little thing. That can be demanding. I'm not saying it's not. But that's safety. That's when your child is comfortable and safe around you. And anything else, you're fucking up. I don't give a fuck. Okay. If your children don't run to you first thing they have an issue, it's a you problem. <laughs>